<laughs> but the story is Jake, played by Sam B. Sam Braidaway, is this young, super breathtaking <laughs> actor. <laughs> it's Sam, okay? You guys know Sam if you're a normal Suka podcast viewer. If you're not, you should subscribe. We post new episodes Saturday at 7 a.m. But Saturday it's not about the podcast right now. It's about American dreams. <laughs> and Jake basically is this young kid who works for his grandparents' farm. He's picking blueberries. He hates it. And he's ready to make this next step in his life, which is going to college. And he doesn't want to go to college. And it was something that his grandparents do, and I'm a lot better at this apparently on live TV giving this... <laughs> <laughs> Liz killed it on it. live TV. We'll talk Apparently about that. Apparently, on the podcast, week, but... I'm just a little bit too jokey. I'm a little silly guy in the podcast, <laughs> but I'm all business on live TV, okay? <laughs> That's my rep. <laughs> um, Jake, basically, your character, is just doesn't want to go to college. His grandparents give him this amount of money. It's really hard to relate to. Really? <laughs> they give him money every single year to go to college, and he's like, I don't want to go to college, but I still want that money. I want the American dream. I want to go live life and use this money. I want to kiss some ladies. That's the All line right. in there. I just want to live the American dream. dream. Really? <laughs> <laughs> if you've seen the movie, then you're like, oh my gosh, I've heard that line before. You're like, that's we. That's actually we actually came up with that. I just I said that in the movie. If you go back, <laughs> <laughs> he said that. Written by Mark Ring, but the yeah. kiss ladies part, that was me. Oh yeah, I love that line. That is actually a great addition by Luke Ring. And because this is the secrets, you get to know that American Dreamers didn't used to be this. And to finish up the final quick synopsis of the film, it's basically Sam teams up or Jake teams up with Tom and Daphne, played Tom played by Race Bedick, Daphne played by Eleanor Conway, my girlfriend. And they are the other two that are basically Jake's trying to get them to go rob his own grandparents, to go rob this safe with a check inside. Because he's like, this is mine. This money is mine. And you can't get the story any better than that. Straight from, I was going to say straight from the source, but straight well, from the source of the sun. I guess, because where's the idea from, Luke? Well, the idea is a tricky one. American Dreamers is, so, it didn't, now, I honestly think that the story i originally came up with will be done at some point yeah. and will be better it's such a fun story because originally last i think it was about last summer luke kind of came to me and goes listen to this idea i don't it was not last summer it was the beginning of this summer yeah you're right yeah it wasn't for some reason summer. the summer's been really long apparently. well no, no 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 you are right the name American Dreamers. Yeah. But that wasn't this story. That was a long time. A yeah, long, yeah, yeah, long time yeah, yeah, ago. Yeah. American Dreamers was going to be this crazy, like, I don't even know. It was yeah. going to be like killing, action, yeah. murder. Every Like, <laughs> apparently that's, if you don't haven't seen A Vendetta's Dead or Sorrow's Grave, apparently I'm a little evil. Uh, <laughs> American Dreamers is a lot more like Yeah, that, uh... Took the comedic route, but, well, yeah, it originally started where it was like, that I'll, well, we won't even bring that up because yeah. so, uh, the name American Dreamers has been in yeah, it's been, it's in, been the, in circulation uh, for a while now. It's been in my bag. I've just been waiting <laughs> to bring that move out. <laughs> it's been in there for a while. Been in the ba idea bank, which my idea bank is massive. It's pretty big. <laughs> it's like a new idea every day gets thrown in there. One, more yeah. like seventeen. <laughs> um, if some days will be like thirty, some days will be nothing, and Sam here is all of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, the name American Dreamers is always a thing, but the original story. And I think this would actually be a really great film for maybe even next year. Oh, oh. See. Don't want to give you that little tease, but oh, don't wanna, I'm going to be <laughs> careful. Oh, teased. <laughs> oh, teased. Okay, that's it. That was the tease. Um, but that would be more of an intense, and it deals with like someone. So it would be Sam's character. Again, Sam was going to play this role. Um, or probably by then it won't even. Yeah. Maybe it will be knowing where if Sam plays the actor route more, the producer because we don't know. We're trying not to make Sam the main character in every yeah, movie. Yeah, we, little... we can't just have me be Wes Anderson's Owen Wilson. Yeah, and Owen Wilson's only in a couple movies. Yeah, he's and not, he's there's in... a reason he's not in yeah. every movie. Um, but yeah, the American Dreamer's um, original idea was like, Sam's character goes to rob this house. Same idea. It goes to rob, like, not his grandparents, but they get to, like, they have to turn the power off or... They have this scene where I drew up this insane scene where they're turning off the power where they have to. And he convinces his bet like his whole time, this friend really doesn't want to do this. And it had a lot more of like playing on to um, Sam being like super like he's trying to convince his friend, like coaxing him into like, you need to do this. Come on, do it for me. Come on. We'll split the money. Come on. They've like been robbing a ton of houses before. 
and he convinces his friend to do this thing and he kills his like his friend dies because of this like he goes to turn the power off and doesn't know how and he's super scared and sam's character's holding his dead friend in his arms and has to decide what to do in it like i wanted to end it with and who knows maybe you're getting an insane spoiler right now (laughs) so i'm sorry but he like writes these notes to all the people that he's robbed before giving them a certain amount of money, all like the money back to yeah. repay his friend's death. And it ends with him like at the gravesite visiting his friend. At the start of the movie, they're watching fireworks, drinking cream soda. And at the end, he's alone watching the sky, sitting on top of the car the same way, which would have been insanely yeah. powerful. That's where the idea started from. How did that develop into American Dreamers? The one we have now. <laughs> so that was what i gave to my dad and he my dad amazing writer but he stays right here in the middle sam and i live above the high point of do it all let's go crazy he's a very realistic about like even when i'm like we went on the news he's like oh that's awesome even if i was like this movie bombed he's like ah that sucks he never goes too high never goes too low which can really bug me sometimes because i'm like what (laughs) how are you not we were not excited about this (laughs) Because I get so excited, we get so excited about everything, but it gave him that, and he's like, "All right, I want to bring." He's really good about setting it in real places. Yeah. Without him setting it in real places, we don't get local businesses, we don't get all this other stuff. Like that way, is way more intense. Maybe better telling a story. Like it really is. Like don't push your friends to do stuff. You could kill them. More emotion. It was way more emotional. Yeah. Which I'm learning. I like to throw in a lot of emotional. Like if you look at Sorrow's Grave is the most emotional. That was like me take. I don't know why it was so intense, but sorry about that again. (laughs) Sometimes apparently I just got to. Sometimes we want to put those emotions We just like milking those emotions. (laughs) But he took it and I was like, can you. Basically the only. The original stuff is I wanted them to talk about an old movie. Jaws was there. That Mm -hmm. was an original thing. Um, I can't even remember initially. Do you remember anything initially that we had before we gave it to him it was the robbery yeah it was the robbery and i think it was i think the, the two fr- the two friends dynamic was the same well, i think the, of the friend no. maybe work no cuz originally you weren't even going to pick blueberries he threw okay. that in yeah and then cuz originally it was going to be the boat docks for race oh yeah 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 it was going to be pick you were going to work at a someone is going to work at a sandwich shop someone is going to work um either at a farm or doing something else. And then it morphed into like, where can we set this? Which is another thing. If you're making a short film, it's like, how can you set this in a real place? Yeah. Like, okay, we know Bert's, we know your grandparents farm. We know these places that we can really set it in to feel more real. But at the same time, part of me is like, for some reason when people die in a movie, it's just makes it way, the stakes way higher, which you can't do it every time I get, but I still like, our stakes aren't the world ending. Our stakes are someone dying. Yeah, because that is a lot of a uh, bigger movies is just the world ending. Yeah, which is a horrible trope <laughs> that I hate. And yeah, I, once someone says the world's ending, I'm checked out. Yeah, that's so awful. But he took that kind of original idea and turned it into something amazing. I mean, I think that could have been amazing the other way. But if you look back at the first movie that we did together, which he was the writer again for Stu, that he didn't turn that. But that was a very that's the same. Like Stu and American Dreamers have the same feel. Yeah, like. They kind of feel like they would be in the same, like... World. They yeah. could definitely be in the same. Yeah. Like, that character, Kevin, he, I mean, he couldn't probably play the same... Like, they're maybe, not acting the same. Maybe I am both those people. Kevin, I just changed my name. when he di- runs away... When the shoe's <laughs> oh gone, gosh. that's you running back to the farm <laughs> to go pick blueberries. It's like this insane connection. We're getting the multiples. Um, But now we're kind of touching on, like, the origin story yeah. of American Dreamers. Of Here's where this idea came and developed and was transformed into something that fits better in the comedy. That other movie was going to be like a thriller. Maybe not even thriller is the right thing, but it was like, I mean, I think it could have been pretty powerful to see like. Yeah. The original pitch you gave me was very like emotional, especially at the end. Like at one point you were like, I want him to be like at the beach and he's like, just like crushed. Oh, because it was going to be a. There also was going to be was a gonna swimming. There was going to be drowning, wasn't there? Yeah, because they talked about Jaws in the beginning. Yeah. And they talked about why that shark's not scary. And yeah. then he gets eaten by a shark later on. It was going to be a thing. <laughs> yeah, the beach. Now it's coming. Because do you remember when I first threw that at you? Now, Sam's the type of person that hears an idea and starts immediately thinking of, this is amazing. How can we make this better? How can we transform this? How can we get this done? 
which is I think there's a lot of positives, but also I yeah. feel like sometimes we bypass negatives, which I obviously I love that <laughs> you'll take an idea yeah. and run with it. Um, but when you first heard like those ideas, does that type of movie draw you more than the movie that it came out? I like, don't know, because it's so hard. That's a f- the American Dreamers is now a fully fledged like story and idea. And, and it's way more doable. Yeah. Like the shark attack. That's hard. Like that would be difficult to do. But think of Vendetta's death. Yeah, that's true. Like it's you're taking such a massive like American Dreamers can live on its own and be a full film and feels real, but it feels like there's no risks. Yeah. Kind of. Which is like as a young filmmaker, it's like how can you take risks? And not saying like, oh, we didn't obviously we learned a t- like learned, okay, we can learn we can be on the front page of the paper and get yeah. an interview now. That's huge. Yeah. That's a huge I don't care how many views the movie gets. That's huge. Yeah, I think with this movie, it definitely took s- huge strides in like every department. Honestly. Oh yeah, and it feels way more reputable, like around people. Yeah. Like, oh, you were like, if you're on TV, no matter what you're saying or doing, it's just credible. Like yeah. way more people can feel. Like, yeah, it's That's very like you feel like you have respect yeah. for what you're doing because it's not just you anymore talking about it. Yeah, which is super cool. Um, but I don't want to steal Sierra too into that world because I know we're going to talk about that. And I don't want to talk about too much of the origin anymore. Yeah. Maybe even skip past this in the chapters or whatever. Yeah, whatever you want to do. 